välkomnar vi till presskonferens efter match mellan Södertäljes damlag mot Visby Ladies och Södertälje vinner 99-44 och vi frågar naturligtvis vår gästande coach Xavi Hernandez What do you think about the game and your analysis after this, please? Uh, first of all, congrats to Södertälje, of course. Uh, big win, great win here at home. Uh, top team, uh, really nice club. So, I mean, well deserved, of course. Uh, from here, I think that the, the game, uh, the, there was no really game, of course. Uh, we got, we came here with um, under pretty bad circumstances after uh, huge effort against um, Mr. Soon shopping. Uh, we lost uh, Christina, who was really important for us, Tilda, too. So uh, we try to to give minutes to youth players uh, for the first time, I think, in many, many years. Um, we are giving them space here in, in SVL to grow and develop. And, um, really nice, actually, to see players from the youth stepping, stepping up. And big thanks, actually, to the team, because it's not easy to come here and play under the circumstances. So, I mean, uh, that's all what I can appreciate the effort of the team. And uh, from here, I think that, of course, is a really, really long game against this top team playing like 40 minutes uh, with under the circumstances. Uh, you talk about your youth players and uh, they really put in a really good effort in this game. I think so, too. Uh, is there anything more you can say about the youth players or someone you're especially happy to see today uh, with uh, this game? They are, they are great. They have been great. I mean, they're helping us practice. Um, also, Helen, of course. I mean, we need to talk about Helen. Uh, she has been great in the last three, four games. It's not just here. Um, To be honest, I mean, in these circumstances, uh, big thanks, all of them, all of them. But I mean, uh, for sure, I'm really happy to see that the youth players that they came in and they scored. Of course, it's, it's not, uh, it's not easy. Just uh, here we got uh, three. I mean, it's not just that. I mean, the, the level they are playing against uh, players like like the sisters, of course, a uh, really top team. Uh, is a uh, Really, really, uh, it's a nice experience for them. Of course, from here they just can grow. This is good learning. Uh, it is, it's awesome. It's amazing. I mean, to play against this kind of team, uh, for sure. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna help them uh, to learn from this game, for sure. Thank you. So uh, we go to Saji. Uh, this is your first press conference as the head coach from after a, a home game. So. Yes. What's your words uh, this close to the game? What's your analysis of this game? I think that, uh, I mean, first of all, I have to, to, to agree 100% with Xavi. I think that they are doing a great job with the uh, young girls. Uh, it's not only like uh, Estela and Luba that played uh, a little bit more today, but it's also players like Esther Olson or Helen that uh, they are young and they are getting to play a lot of uh, playing time because uh, they don't have that many players in the roster. So, of course, uh, they need to play, but it's not just that they have to play. I think that, uh, for example, today Esther and Helen uh, did a really good job. I, I've been following them a little bit also. I have a relationship with Xavi and um, I think that they are doing a great job out there. And even if uh, right now is a tough situation, I just give, uh, <laughs> I just give uh, my word to him to keep pushing. It's uh, three games left and uh, they are doing good things there. So it's uh, the good way to go. And connected to that, I'm, I'm really happy also how our young girls today perform. I think that I told them it's a tough game for us because uh, we have uh, Lulio coming in three days. Uh, everybody is uh, mostly focused on that game, uh, me included, of course. But um, players also wanted to play some minutes today to, to feel that they are good. They don't want to just sit out. Uh, we had to rest Clara because of injury, but was not any coach, coach decision. So uh, I'm just happy that uh, I always spoke to them about that they have to earn these minutes. And I think that today Emilia, Svea, Yusan and Edessa played a really good game. I like the way how Edessa finished the game, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Uh, great minutes from Yusan. I'm just so happy. And it's connected to the daily work. I mean, they are, they are putting the work. They are practicing really good. The team is practicing really good, so I'm I'm still hoping that we can have one more gear 
on our game and that we can show it on Wednesday. Then um, tactically also we use this game to, to try new stuff. Uh, we were working during, during all week on new stuff and I, I like how it looks. I like uh, how we are learning and everything. So we just have to continue, like I said, to, to go one more step if we want to be able to, to really compete against Lulio, to beat Lulio. That will be the extra that we were missing today that I hope we can have it on Wednesday. Good. Um, you talk about the young players in the team, and I see that you are uh, using the whole team in the rotation. Um, that must be good for you as a coach to see that you, anyone you put in, they put in a really good effort. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the season is long. Uh, I hope it's long for us. We still have a lot of games left. I told them, I don't know how many minutes we can give them, but for me, it just made me happy that every player that is coming from bench is coming ready to play. And that um, that's connected, like I said, to the practices. I will never give a minute to someone that don't deserve. And I don't care if they are 30 or 18 or 16, but they really deserve. So this is the wh this is why we, we will try to find some time for them. Uh, like I said, Emilia, Yusan, uh, Svea, they are doing a great job in practice. So they also deserve to have this room in the team. And it's important to have everybody on the boat. And when they play this kind of minutes, then I hope that tomorrow they are coming with even better mentality to practice. They continue helping the team to develop and to grow. And that's the most important thing for me. So um, the plan now, next game is Lulio, uh, away game. Uh, so what's your feeling about that game? And uh, how is the feeling now? You're no, new in this role as a coach in this team. How do you feel right now after a sh pretty short time as a head coach? I think that, uh, of course, the, the team was not in a bad situation before. It was just like a, a little bit of chemistry issues maybe, or sometimes uh, you can see that the energy was not uh, great. I'm really happy about the energy in the practices mostly. I still think that in the game we have one more gear to go, like I said before, and I just hope that we can show it on Wednesday. Um, I feel the pressure of playing Lulio, but I love that pressure. Then uh, I'm just really excited and looking forward to go on Wednesday there and try to, to give our best version. And then let's see where we are right now, because honestly, I, I've seen Lulio, but I haven't felt them. So for me, it's so important to go there and feel them, to see how far away we are, how close we are, which things are good against them and everything. And will be a good learning for the future that hopefully we can face them a couple of times more after. So we thank you so much for coming to the press conference and we uh, wish you luck in the, the coming games. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.